Hello and welcome to Cooking with Aubrey. For today's recipe, I'm going to be making a veggie sandwich. This recipe, you will need a few lettuce leaves, a tomato, a bell pepper, a cucumber, cheese of your choice, black olives, pickles, banana peppers or pepperoncinis, bread, mustard, mayo or optional, You'll also need red wine vinegar. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to wash your vegetables. I like to use a mixture of vinegar and water. It's two parts vinegar to one part water. So I spray my vegetables thoroughly with this mixture. Once the vegetables have been sprayed with your cleaning agent, you can take a brush and scrub the veggies and make sure they get nice and clean. Once the vegetables have been cleaned and rinsed thoroughly, you're going to separate the lettuce and pat it dry. Then set the lettuce to the side to let it finish air drying so that you do not have soggy lettuce on your sandwich. Next, slice your veggies. Slice them as thin or as thick as you would like and slice as many that you would like to place on your sandwich. It's up to you. I'm making two sandwiches, so I'm slicing twice the amount. Next you'll need to slice your olives if they are whole. Next you'll want to slice your cheese. Of course, you can always buy pre-sliced cheese. I buy the regular block of cheese because it lets me save a few dollars. After that, you're going to take a few of your banana peppers or pepperoncinis and you're going to slice the tops off of them. Next, you're going to start to make your sandwich. Take a little bit of mustard and a little bit of mayo if you'd like to and place them on your sandwich. Next, you're going to take your lettuce and place it on the sandwich. After that, I like to put the pickles on top. That way, the lettuce kind of acts as a barrier between the bread and the pickles and keeps the bread from getting soggy. After that, layer on the tomatoes, the cucumbers, the bell peppers, the black olives, the banana peppers or pepperoncinis, the cheese, and then there you have it. There is your veggie sandwich. You can of course add your own cider fruit or if you have a soup that would also taste nice with it. The great thing about this recipe is that it can be modified according to your taste. So if there were vegetables that I use that you don't prefer, you can get rid of those. And if there are ones that I didn't use that you would like to have on your sandwich, you can also use those as well. Thank you for joining me today. Please click the subscribe button below and stay tuned for more recipes for cooking with Aubrey.